that usually means a lot of drinking. Well, for Hillary anyway. Uh, and it just so happens it is Ardbeg Day on Saturday. Some people will know what that is, others won't. A global celebration of all things whiskey. So, what is the correct way to drink it? And is this just a shabby attempt to get a free glass of whiskey on the program? Whiskey connoisseur Sam Sneed is here to tell us. Sam, good morning to you. Good morning, good is, morning. Is, I mean, whiskey has been around for a donkey's age. Is it getting more popular? I think so. I think so. Especially the single malts. Um, we're seeing just a, a huge, huge increase in what's going on. And it kind of starts with the States, really, and then it kind of filters out everywhere else. But yeah, Are you I by any chance so. from the States yourself? Uh, <laughs> hence the accent. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely from the States. All right. Um, so then you can answer this question instantly. Whiskey bourbon. The difference is? Oof. Uh, whiskey, which what we're drinking here this morning, single malt uh, scotch. It's made of three ingredients and three ingredients only. Barley, water, and yeast. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's most, it. Of the, most of the flavor comes from the barrel. Okay, in America, you got different recipes, basically, different uh, grist bills, as we call them. And in the States, when bourbon is on the bottle, 51% corn minimum. Then from there, it'll change a bit. Okay, have, so all bourbon has to have minimum 51% corn. That's correct. Right. Exactly. And then from there, your recipe, your mash bill will change a bit. A little bit of rye, a little bit of malted barley. Sometimes, in the case of like Maker's Mark, they won't have the rye. They'll actually have wheat in instead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the major, major difference. With single malts, you've got yeast, water, barley. Most of the flavor okay. comes from the barrel. All right. There, there was one other word you said there. How can I even be a human being and not know this? <laughs> but scotch. Scotch. Is scotch whiskey? It's another word for whiskey? Scotch whiskey. And if it's scotch, it has to be from Scotland. Scotch is not from Japan. Scotch is not from Taiwan. Scotch is not from America. Scotch is from Scotland. Whiskey can be from anywhere. Whiskey can be from Japan, from America, from okay. Scotland, yes. I'm learning stuff here. I'm learning stuff here. All right. Ardbeg Day, because uh, Ardbeg, the distillery, celebrates uh, 200 years. Yes, it um, does. And it, that's, that's coming up just in a couple of days' time. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Everybody around the world will celebrate. Ardbeg Day, and it's a big day for them this year because, like you say, it is their 200th year anniversary, which is on the bottle 1815 to 2015, so pretty special day for right. us. You are now going to pour a glass for Hillary because she is... Are you salivating, Hillary? Are you keen on Are you keen on scotch, stroke whiskey, stroke bourbon? This time of the morning, I'm keen on anything. Yeah, of course, of course. Now, this is a strong one, isn't it? This, this is a this pretty strong one, yes. So is this one of those ones where you say, you know, quite frankly, this is going to blow Hillary's head right off? To start, it might. Good thing she's sitting down, yes. We'll just pass a few of these around. Now, should you, should Thank Hillary you. just scull it? I'm not no, sculling it. it. I'm no. a lady. <laughs> Single malt you really don't want. That remains to be determined after a few of these, Hillary. Before um, you do, yep. just, just one quickly, before yep. you do knock it back, give it a little bit of a smell first. You can probably smell it already because it's a big... Shoot. Yeah, right? <laughs> Shoot. You wanted to say something else, didn't you? You, yeah. you almost don't need to drink this, do you? I think I'm yeah. drunk already just sniffing it. So give it a couple oh. smells, and then oh, you yeah. actually taste it. You know, when someone serves you something, just taste it like as is, so to speak. And then we're going to add a touch of water to it, but just okay. give it a go. Just a go. Just a little taste. <laughs> Boy. Wowzers. That is okay, so that's going to wake you up a bit. That's breakfast in a bottle right there. Mm -hmm. That is breakfast in a bottle. We should I have saw. done this at 6 a.m. Yeah. So I, see, wanted to. I did. <laughs> I wanted to. When I said we were going to be talking about... <laughs> All right, but look, you, you're drinking, it's 47.4%, so you've got yep. quite a bit of alcohol involved, right? 47.4%. Yep. Okay. Yes, yes. So now, very quickly, water-wise. Just a touch, yep. One, two, three drops. Really? Is that going to make all that difference? It is. All you're doing is going to bring the alcohol down just a little bit. Seriously? Three drops? That's all it takes. You'll bring that alcohol down just a little bit. It opens those flavors up. You might not even recognize this drink <laughs> now that there's She's water She's turning it red already. Look at that. I'm just, just give it a smell it now. I'm just going to drink it down. Okay, so no smell for you. Oh, geez, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> that is good. But this time of year, it's, it's a great, that's fantastic great. drink. It, it'll warm the cockles of your soul. Oh, it's warm oh, I love that phrase. I thought that was an English phrase. You are an American saying that. Well, I'm, I'm an odd, odd American. I follow English Premier League as well. Oh, yeah. God, you are odd. Um, Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and if ever there Anytime. were a weekend... Boy. Oh, I know. But Saturday, Ardbeg Day. Get to the Ardbeg embassies. We've got three in this lovely country. Christchurch, Whiskey Galore. We've got the one at... Um um, oh, and Wellington. Wellington. Yep, one in Wellington and, and House of Whiskey. And the House of Whiskey. House of Whiskey. Please come down. Brilliant. Sam, thank you very much for joining us. All right. That